Namaste everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for joining in this video on the various aspects of Saturn and the secret meanings behind those aspects. Okay. So I've done a few videos on aspects covering the various aspects of planets uh, till Jupiter. So you can watch those videos on the channel which are which have been uploaded previously and they are available for public consumption. But you know, before we go to the meat of the topic, kindly subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and family if you find it useful, and do reach out for a consultation if you want a thorough understanding of your chart or any problem that you may be facing. Okay, so before we go into the secret meanings of Saturnine aspects, we have to first deal with a few basic points that everyone ignores. Okay. So Saturn represents all that we which we do not like in our life. Okay. And you will meet your Saturn frequently. For example, say if you are someone who does not like to make his or her bed after waking up in the morning, then that is Saturn. Okay. Saturn is delay, frustration, restriction, limitation, as well as anxiety. It also represents your, you know, the environment at your workplace okay saturn is your karmic debt from past life and it represents all those things that we did not that you did not treat too well in your past life okay saturn represents your challenges and your lessons of life saturn is old age you know it represents teeth or bones in human body it represents diseases changes okay saturn also represents step relations so it means that wherever Saturn sits, people related to that house will give you step treatment. <clears throat> okay, Saturn is hard work, efforts, and most importantly, perseverance. Okay, nothing comes easy in one go with Saturn. Okay, so it means, you know, if you are under the influence of Saturn or if you are undergoing a Saturn Mahadasha, you have to work hard continuously. Okay. And uh, Saturn is also the kingmaker. It is the, you know, it is the planet that is responsible for producing legends. And what do legends have? They have one thing in common, is that they choose one field and work hard for it their entire life. Okay. Now, in astrology, Parashara has granted three aspects to Saturn. You know, Saturn aspects the third place from its position, the seventh place from its position, and the tenth place from its position. So if Saturn is in the third house, it is, for example, it will aspect the fifth house by its third aspect, the ninth house by its seventh aspect, and the twelfth house by its tenth aspect. So every planet has, you know, has one common aspect, which is the seventh house from itself. So the other two aspects, if the outer planets, say Saturn, Jupiter, Rahu, and Ketu, they have, you know, they have two special aspects. So in case of Saturn, the two special aspects are the third house and the tenth house aspects. Okay. Now, why has Saturn gotten these special aspects? Right? That's why, you know, what are the secret meanings of these additional special aspects of Saturn? Right? So, to get into that, we have to understand what the third house means. Right? The third house, it means the efforts of hard work. You know, it means your efforts that you put to get your work done. And it is an Apochaya house, which means it improves with time. Okay. It also means we need to put lots of efforts and hard work over a long period of time to gain out of the third house matters. And that is what Saturn exactly represents. It represents hard work. It represents efforts as well as perseverance. So hence, Saturn gets this third house aspect. Okay. Again, 10th house, this is the house of duties and responsibilities. And uh, in the original zodiac, we know that Capricorn falls into the 10th house. Okay. And Saturn rules Capricorn, right? Saturn, you know, Capricorn and the 10th house, it all indicates how you complete work. It all indicates your duties, work and responsibilities. And because Saturn represents responsibility, Parashara has given it the 10th house aspect. Okay. Now, before looking at the aspects of Saturn, you have to understand the dignity of Saturn as well. You know how dignified Saturn is in the chart, and uh, because you know this dignity of Saturn can change the impact of its aspect on a house in your horoscope. All right, 
and uh, Saturn, as I said, is all about hard work and perseverance. And uh, mind you, it does not make life easy in any sign, but it can become much more harsh in few other signs. Okay, so what are the signs in which Saturn becomes really harsh in Aries? Okay, because Saturn debilitates in Aries. All right, and uh, if Saturn in Aries is not supported by any other yoga or planet, then this person will get success only after the severest of hard work. Okay, and any reluctance uh, of running away from hard work can lead to severe humiliation. All right. Okay, really sorry about that thing. Uh, then comes Saturn in Leo. So this is again a great enemy sign of Saturn. And, uh, you know, this is one of the harshest placements that Saturn can have because, you know, it is not only the sign of fire, right, which Saturn spreads, right? Saturn represents the Vayotatva. So as Vayotatva, it can spread the fire. Okay, but it is also the sign of Saturn's greatest enemy, which is the sun. Okay, so things can be a little better for Saturn if Saturn is exalted in Libra or if Saturn is in Aquarius, which is its wolf Tricona sign. But don't, you know, don't put too much of play and don't put too much of importance on the other placements of Saturn, except for Saturn in Aries and Saturn in Leo. Because in my opinion or in my experience, these are the harshest signs of Saturn. Okay. And... Uh, we also need to take into consideration the fact that Saturn gains Digbala or direction, directional strength in the seventh house and it loses its directional strength. That means it becomes Dikshunya in the first house. So if Saturn is placed in these houses, that means if it is placed in the first house or if it is placed in the seventh house of the horoscope, then also the interpretation of the aspects will be changed. Okay. And uh, last but not the least, we also need to consider the maturity age of saturn which is 36 years okay so if someone is elder than 36 or older than 36 then the result may be more favorable as it is now a matured energy okay similarly if saturn is retrograde or combust then you know it becomes favorable over a period of time especially retrograde okay from mid 30s if you have a retrograde saturn in your chart from mid 30s it, it starts becoming favorable if you have a combust saturn in the chart from mid 50s it starts becoming favorable okay now coming to the meat of this video which is the interpretation of the aspects right so since the third house we'll look at the third house aspect first since the third house relates to hard work relates to effort so saturn's third house aspect from its position shows where the person needs to put efforts you know where the person needs to work hard with perseverance to make any impact regarding wherever you know, wherever, whichever house Saturn is aspecting by its third aspect. Okay. So say Saturn's, suppose Saturn is in the 10th house of career and status. So the third aspect goes to the 12th house of foreign lands, you know, foreign settlement or spiritual matters. So it shows that the person needs to put a lot of effort and hard work with perseverance, you know, with perseverance in matters related to foreign lands or in matters of spirituality to gain anything from, you know, from the 12th house. Okay. Similarly, the 12th house also represents hospitals and jails. So it means that, this, that the person has to put a lot of effort to ensure that the that he or she does not end up in going to a hospital or jail for whatever reason. Okay. So I'm taking the most co common significations as examples. Okay. Say Saturn is in the fourth house of mother, you know, mother, home and peace of mind. So it from the fourth house, the third aspect will be on the sixth house of daily routine of diseases, illness, deaths, etc. So such a person will has to be really, really diligent in his or her workplace and work hard to keep his peace of mind intact. Okay. So what I'm saying is wherever Saturn is placed, okay, to get fulfillment from Saturn's placement, you have to do the work related to the house where Saturn aspects. Okay. So again, considering the same example, you know, a person having Saturn in the fourth house and that is aspecting the sixth house has to put continuous efforts to keep his debts under control to enjoy peace of mind or to, you know, to keep, to enjoy the comforts of his or her home environment. Okay. So it's all about putting hard work with perseverance. And uh, for this reason, some authors have also called it as the hammer aspect of Saturn because Saturn really hammers the third house from its natal position. Okay. Mm -hmm.
now comes the seventh house okay so the seventh house aspect of saturn is about limitations and restrictions and uh, this uh, shows you know this aspect shows that the results of that house will be very limited and the person would need to be very practical and mature and realistic in dealing with that house in order to gain anything okay so for example if saturn is placed in the first house of self of discretion then the seventh aspect will be on the house of relationships right so it means that the meaningful results from relations will be very very limited and as a result the person would need to be very matured and very realistic in his desires in his or her desires related to relations and only then he or she can expect some good results coming his or her way likewise the seventh house also represents business or partnerships so <clears throat> It is very important that such a person takes his business decisions with a lot of proper planning. Okay, he or she cannot or should not take business decisions out of the blue. You know, these they, these people have to be smart enough to study everything regarding current market trends, and only then he or she can expect some profit from business. Okay, and uh, Saturn in the third house, for example, would expect the ninth house of higher education and gurus. So it shows that the person has to be very disciplined about his or her higher education to gain out of it. You know, plus in early life, such a person will get gurus who are very strict and uh, will be very hard dealing with them to gain any knowledge. Okay, so such a person has to show a lot of discipline while dealing with gurus and father figures or while dealing with, you know, matters of higher education. Okay. Now comes the 10th aspect of Saturn. So 10th house, we know it relates to duties and responsibilities and Saturn's 10th house aspect shows two things it number one it shows where you need to take duties and responsibilities in your life and uh you know it also shows that area this house wherever saturn puts his ten aspect it shows that you cannot ignore that house for a long time okay secondly it also shows the failure that saturn brings okay one of the significations of saturn is failure so the tenth aspect of saturn represents your greatest failure and as greatest failure will happen in terms of a particular signification of that house okay and i've made a detailed video on saturn and your greatest failure where i've listed you know what failure saturn brings when his 10th aspect falls on each house of the horoscope okay so watch out that video if you want to get more details as to how you know the 10th aspect of saturn represents a particular type of failure okay now taking an example say saturn is in the fourth house so with its 10th house aspect, it'll, you know, it'll look at the first house of self. So it means that the person has to take responsibility of his own health and psyche. And, uh, you know, if he or she neglects his health, if he or she neglects it, his, you know, his psychological buildup, then it can become problematic. It can lead to failure. Okay. Say Saturn is in the 10th house of career, it will aspect the 7th house of business or relationships okay with his 10th house of aspect so it means that you know you should not you should not fight with other people because fighting with other people means that you might lose that battle very badly okay it also means that you know sooner or later your career will be all about business and uh, you know dealing and interacting with other people okay so these are the secret aspects of these are the secret meanings of saturn's aspects but uh, remember that wherever Saturn sits, it's in whichever house it aspects, it will always make you work hard and show perseverance related to the significations represented by that house. Okay, so this is just a basic idea of how Saturn's aspects will work in your chart. You know, Saturn has hard work, you know, efforts and perseverance as its consistent themes. Okay, so those themes will always play out in the row in the houses which are you know which which is inhabited by Saturn as well as which is aspected by Saturn. Okay, so that's it from me in this video. Do share with your friends and family if you find it useful, and do leave behind your feedback in the comment section. That really is very encouraging for me. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you soon with yet another video. Namaste. Om Guru Vinamaha.